Hi, this is Captain Chris, and I would like to show you one of the good old pumps that you don't see too much anymore. They're now owned by Jabsco, and they're called PAR. The original name is Parker and Richardson. So you can see this is strange, very different from a lot of bilge pumps you've seen in the past. You actually have an electric motor up here that's dry. This bilge pump does not go in the bilge. It's remote mounted. You'll have a pickup here, diaphragm intake, diaphragm exhaust, and then the water exhaust here. And you actually have a belt drive system. So you can see how the motor will turn the belt. The belt will actually turn the pump. And as that operates, you can see here where this arm moves up and down. So that moves the intake diaphragm and the exhaust diaphragm. Or think of purge valves like you would have in a scuba mask. So it's up here, out there, up here, out there. I'll do it again. And that's the Parker and Richardson or the PAR water pump. You also have a little guppy, which is a smaller version. But these are great because they're remote mounted, dry. You can put them high up in the engine room somewhere, easily accessible for you to do maintenance. Maintenance would include oiling this, oiling the bearings in there, and monitoring the health of the drive belt right here. This pump is not really a bilge pump, but this pump has a pressure switch right here. And this pressure switch is used to tell the pump when to turn on and turn off. So that makes this a drinking water pump or a potable water pump. So this is used for your drinking water systems on board the boat. If you take the pressure switch off and you put a float switch in place, then it would turn on and off depending upon the float switch being floating high water or down no water. So if you want to learn more about bilge pumps, learn more about do-it-yourself maintenance, you know who to call. Ask Captain Chris.